Okay, we're gonna do a walkthrough of our Mercedes-Benz 2019 Sprinter van, four-wheel drive, 170 high top with the 2500 suspension. The suspension on this vehicle has been improved by Agile Off-Road. It's their level one rip kit. The color of this van is tentonite gray metallic paint with painted front and rear bumpers, which is not a common feature. We have a, a hood, a hood protecting bra that's been on here since uh, day one to protect the road damage. Above we have a light bar for that's operated from the driver's seat that can be turned on and for in, enhancing your nighttime driving experience. Uh, we're rolling on these Wild Peak Falcons, much better than the previous uh, KO2s we've had on multiple other vans. We have the Method race wheels, and then there's a look at the uh, Agile Off-Road Fox shocks two shocks on each side instead of one and then beefed up rear end leaf springs as well this is our side step we've added as well inside we have the deluxe cab that has the premium features in on all levels there's too many to list we'll put them in the information below deluxe speaker system deluxe seats these are swiveling seats and we have a multiple memory positions here and we can set one for one driver one for the second driver and the third one we use it to set so when we're ready to flip the seats we push three and it will move the seats to the right position for rotation and we... yes the, the seats are also heated as well okay we'll get to all the interior uh, just trying to highlight the things that we've changed inside here's a look up at the custom stereo system and overhead shelf and we'll go over that in more detail when we get to the back um, speaking of the fuel we have a extended range 47 gallon fuel tank uh, that's mounted underneath Let's see if you can see it here and it extends from a 27 gallon range or capacity to 47 gallons we also have our s bar hydronic heater mounted here that sips diesel from the diesel tank there's no propane on board this rig and um, nothing and nothing is they have no tanks whatsoever below this rig it's uh, nothing's lower than the original stock frame and that was our intention it's true four season rig all tanks reside inside on top of the heated floors these are AMA slider windows they're screened they're nice you can open them up pass things in and out and they are screened as well so come down the back side we have the agile off-road spring kit six leaf springs instead of the stock four and fox racing shocks we've added the agency six lockers here this is a great use of wasted space behind the wheel and we can put recovery gear air compressor stuff and we use a bunch of charging cable work in there up here we have our smart plug Shore power, I like it better than the ones that twist it and it just goes straight in and clips in. There's light, tells you that it's working. A better way to charge off of shore power. Um, coming around to our garage, we have a 500 pound drawers, slides that allow us to have a very deep drawer for accessing the entire depth of the bed. Uh, and like I say, 500 pounds, we Called dinghies and bicycles and all sorts of gear uh, on this drawer and it makes it super convenient for uh, accessing this stuff deeper in the garage we have two rocky mounts here for we could typically can run one two different bikes in this configuration if they're electric bikes we can charge them going down the road we have a total of four outlets in the garage all down this side our batteries, lithium batteries, there's four 170 amp hour lithium batteries going down this side. We have our Renogy solar charge controller, our default, our master, our master 12 volt off, a solar charge meter. I'm gonna go ahead and take this down. These are our window shades, just an extra storage area. This is our 12 volt power distribution setter for all 110 and 12 volt um, fuses and breakers. Next to that is the Starlink router with its own uh, inverter. So if we want to run 12 volt and not have the uh, big inverter running, we can run Starlink off of the 12 volt inverter. Next to that's the Vitron 
Electron 3000 watt pure sine wave inverter. Uh, this behind that, you'll see a black canister. That's our laundry chute that comes down under the bed for our laundry. And then back behind that is a DC to DC 60 amp charger charging off of our alternators are running down the roads and down the road. And so between the solar, 60 amps an hour, from the DC to DC charge controller for off the battery, we get 60 amps an hour. We can charge four 170 amp hour lithium batteries, high efficiency Renogy battery. Each one has its, their own uh, battery management system. On the other side, where well, we have our recovery tracks mounted to the ceiling here, LED lights. On the other side of the garage, at the back is our uh, dragonfly tent. We'll have some video uh, sh shots showing how that, that awning. awning looks, uh, not tent, awning looks when it's on the vehicle. Uh, but next to that is the um, a heater for hold, to hold the hot water and control the temperature of the hot water. That device doesn't actually add heat. It just stores it in the thermostat inside that helps us set our domestic hot water temperature. Inside this big uh, area here is a 22 gallon over the wheel well water tank. Above that is storage. And then as you can see, we have a uh, water tank gauge here. And then also this is our hot and cold shower system. And below that is our water fill area where we can fill up our tanks and or have campground water. But everything's easy accessible. Our shower and our water refilling station is right there. This allows us, this is just a handy where we do a lot of uh, camping and charging of e-bikes. And so that allows you to have a extension cord on the rig and handy and easily accessible. Another one of the four 110 outlets in this garage. There's one on this side one on this side and one on this side and one back in there. So this whole band will run on 12 volt or 110. Uh, these are our over the, over the door uh, storage solution. Uh, it helps hold all the little bits and pieces you have for camping. And this top one closes. And so these four uh, packs are available from while you're in bed. You can uh, put your, your cell phone and, and other items, glasses, in, in these compartments. Right over on each side, we have a reading light on both sides and a 12 uh, USB-C charger on both sides. Those lights are dimmable and uh, accessible from the bed. And you can also control the max air fan right here from the bed by reaching up, but we also have a remote controller for it as well. Okay, this is just a storage box. Okay, so I think that, oh, we have a 5,000 pound a uh, hitch back here and a steel step that's added on and compacted the step is and then when we're uh, we either store the bikes inside here or you can put a bike rack on out here and our bike rack this this extension makes it so you can actually tilt the rack and have it and still open the doors okay so coming down this side the van we have of course the agency six storage lockers here same tire setup oh i didn't mention these are our bunk windows on either side of the sleeping area are these bunk windows, C.R. Lawrence bunk windows, and they open up and tilt out awning style. So you can have them open at night and have really good cross through ventilation. Uh, we have outdoor uh, area lights, front and rear, for uh, illuminating your camp setup. This is our uh, retracting uh, step here. This is a uh, amp research step. We'll close it. It'll retract and once again, no reduction in ground clearance. Too many of these vans have tanks and stuff hanging along underneath them. We have nothing to lower our ground clearance so we can totally utilize our four wheel drive capacity. Let's see, I don't think there's, this, this side is very similar to the other side, just memory seats, uh, heated seats, master lock and unlock. Well, well, that was. this is a good view of the, we'll get to the sound system, the stu studio quality sound system, but that's our Alpine subwoofer there, 175 watt. We'll get to those enhancements, but this is a good view also of the overhead shelf and the speakers. So while we're here, those speakers, six speakers there, woofer, mid-range and tweeter up there, both doors have component replaced speakers. Both side speakers on both sides are component replaced speakers. So it has a, multitude of speakers give you stereo quality sound 
Okay, now we'll go inside. You wanna hold the camera now and I'll... Yeah. So, starting off, we have an isotherm, five and a half cubic foot refrigerator. It's not on right now. High quality, come from the yachting world, super efficient. If you don't have a, a high efficiency refrigerator, you'll never have enough battery power to run them on a long-term basis. And this is handy, you can access it from the outside. Very handy to access from the inside as well. Um, starting off at the front of the van then, we have some more of a stereo system down here. We have a, a line converter and a power amp behind the seat there, but they're discreetly placed out of the way. The seat can still rotate. You can still have somebody sitting here. So the design was to be able to service four adults. And that's what our basic design criteria was. I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, well, I can, I'll spin this out of the way. Now we're on this, we've got our, our bench, galley bench. You can sit like this and you can also service that like this in the mornings. So somebody have your window open. And then in the nighttime mode, we have, to, we have our bathroom set up, which is a, a flushable toilet comes up, creates a little privacy, this pops off, and we have a flushing compost, compost, a cassette toilet, not compost, cassette toilet. And then it closes back like that. It's, it's illuminated with LED lights. And so that's the night mode setup for the toilet. This side of the, the box is a storage, secret storage down in here, and then the heater system. This has in-floor heat uh, using an S-bar system. It's made by Van Life Tech, you have a thermostat on the wall, you basically set it and forget it. Um, you can control this as in all controls in here. You can control the thermostat with your phone. You can control and manage your batteries, your electronics, your inverter, everything with cell phone. You don't see any big array of gauges. All our gauges are on our tablet and our cell phone. So here's our dual induction cooktop here nice wide prep area very wide workspace um, coming across a large stainless steel very deep sink as its own has separate drinking water this comes from two two and a half gallon tanks that are easily refilled at most grocery stores and uh, that's separate from our fresh water 22 gallons of fresh hot and cold fresh water coming out here we have also our built-in soap dispenser. This sink drains to a seven gallon gray tank. The gray tank is, is the above grade, so it's four seasons, won't freeze. It's inside the van and it has an electronic switch. We can pick a switch here and drain our gray tank easily from inside the van. And a little spice rack, LED lights on both sides. Wash your hands. Oh, it's big enough. One of this sink is big enough so that you can wash your hair inside and that eliminates the need for an indoor shower. We had a space designed here for one, but we preferred this layout. We shower out of the back of the van when we want a hot shower. Coming around to this side, we have, this is an extension of this cooktop, same size. This is uh, our utensils and uh, cooking ware, and then below that are more storage for clothes and or utensils. You can see some of the LED lighting along here at night. It's red illuminated LED lighting so you can see where you're going easily. Um, we have a microwave oven here. We have, uh, this is our basic, our, our uh, toiletries cabinet here, folds out. Then we have a large pantry here. Crossed. Okay, then we have we have a. Let's go under here. Look here. Okay, if you want to look under here, we have our two two and a half gallon fresh water tanks that we fill up at any place we that has fresh water. I love most grocery grocery stores. Underneath that is the seven gallon gray tank, and that is electronically drained to the via a hose. Uh, we'll exit the is the valve that lets the gray tank drain, and you can put that to any appropriate place. Microwave. The microwave I mentioned. Now we have a pass-through 
to the garage and we we prefer that it gives us the flexibility of treating this van like a like an actual cargo van and and or when we're traveling in non-cargo mode we will have our array of dry goods action boxes there we can reach them right through here and so that's and then at nighttime we have a very large comfortable nearly king size bed six foot four inches long this steps those steps can be deployed for easy access in and out of our very large bed with a triple mattress system very comfortable bed this Clothes. Dirty clothes. Oh yeah, this is our dirt. We showed you earlier. Dirty clothes. You can open this up and drop your dirty clothes in there into the hamp laundry basket in the garage. This van's been tested on 50,000 miles worth of road trips and has had the benefit of being the design has been informed by previous vans and many many road trips. So we went with the soft-sided overhead storage. We went one here, here. And two here and then you have all the storage up above the shell, this area here and then of course you have more lighting down here um this is we have insulated blinds is that what you want me to do yeah okay so we have these down insulated blinds that we use on all the windows so we can go out winter camping but these take just a second you got the magnets built in And there we have very good insulation and privacy, but one for this window and one for this window as well. Um, then we have for the front of the van, for temperature control and privacy, uh, we can deploy, this is a thin silk blanket that we can deploy in seconds. Maybe even at a gas station, if you wanna go to the bathroom, you wanna use the bathroom inside here very quickly, you can bring this around and deploy this. this once again, it's privacy and temperature control. And there you go. Total privacy and four season temperature control. We've camped in it many times in sub-zero temperatures. So there you go. Because the heated floors, you get really great. Yeah, the, heat, the heated floors just basically, you set it and forget it. They just ooze the hot air or the, the heat the floor and ooze the temperature. You have it set to like 70 degrees. But when you first come into the van and you haven't had the floors on, you turn the heat system on, it'll blow hot air out of this 15,000 BTU air duct here because it can make hot air almost instantly, But whereas the floor takes a few minutes to get up to temperature. But normally that's a few minutes, 20 minutes at the beginning of the journey, and then the floors are warm and you don't think about it ever again. The, the, the benefits of the heated floor and the hydronic system there's no noise. There's no fan of the squirrel cage running, making a loud noise. You can't hear this heater when it's running. The, the motors are tiny little hydraulic motors. And one circulates the, the hot glycol through the floors and the other fan circulates the hot water, domestic hot water. So we'll have domestic hot water here. They're controlled, controlled with a couple of master switches on the side here. Let's see, so that's a, and this is a remote control for our Max Air fan. This is a remote control, this is a thermostat, like I say, set it and forget it, and you can use software to turn this on and off too, so if you're coming down the ski lift and want to uh, turn your heater on before you get to the van, you can do it. Um, the great flow, we've never had any hot nights. Oh yeah, we have the two bunk windows I talked about on the outside, but you open those up and you have right where you want it, right at mouth level, you get the cool air coming across, you can reach up and touch those fans from lying in bed, like I say, and or use the thermostat. But yeah, very super comfortable, very long bed, no getting over each other, no sleeping transversely and having to crawl over your partner. You can just slip, slide out the end and... Let's address really quickly the, the, um, the, the we have these uh, packs we put in our um, clothes and I, I put my clothes in a shelf down here and we put our other clothes up here and we've been on the road for four months at a time. <clears throat> With those, with those clothes, and we do really great. So a lot of vans will be, we've had a van that was a straight trough with overheads on all sides, with all this gear you could take and you don't need. You t this van, we've opted for a wide open, open flow feeling, 
This is everything you need and nothing more, nothing less. Tomorrow, yeah, yes, today's clothes can go here to take off for tomorrow. You can store your cosmetics here. You can put a whole roll here. We have a whole charging station right here for all of our batteries. There are four 110 outlets in the craft. We have three Lagoon tabletops, one mount. One, we have an arm here that sets here that can go into this area so you can watch uh, uh, television at night from the bed or it can rotate around this way and creates another shelf for right here or whatever, how you need it. But one, tape, one lagoon here, one lagoon here, and a third lagoon tabletop that not many people have there, which creates a table platform here. So three, three ways to set up their tables and three different areas that can be surfaced. Okay, I think the other thing that you can see in here is we have a double layer of stencil insulation throughout the whole entire rig. But before that, we have what's called lizard skin. It's a, it's a textured coating, six layer coating on the, the walls of the van. The very first thing we did about the van was an empty cargo van. You sand down the entire inside of the van and you apply six layers of this coating, thermal ceramic coating, and it uh, deadens noise and it keeps it cold out or the heat out, vice versa. It was developed for NASCAR inside the driver's cockpit and keeps them from cooking. It will, uh, it's a thermal barrier and an acoustic deadening barrier. So it's super quiet. So going down this road in this van, zero squeaks, no sound, minimal sound. The doors have extra acoustic sound proofing in the entire door. When you close these doors, it sounds like you're closing a, you know, a bank vault. It's very, very solid. All right. How, we, how many places have we gone in this desert, ocean? You'll have to check our Instagram account. We travel constantly. This, like I said, there's all these systems. You buy vans from um, makers. I don't think anybody that ever engineered a factory built van ever lived in one or spent time in one we we uh we designed this to fit our needs exactly it's very tough very rugged and it's been tested and proven um this is called black hexa uh, little structural details that's black hexa virtually indestructible this is 8020 aluminum the galley was made from the 8020 aluminum as well as the bed frame beneath that oak behind that oak the bed frame is all aluminum as well 8020 aluminum very strong and very light that's uh that's trying to i'll walk around the front and see if there's anything else um, let's go ahead and turn these to turn these outside lights off here to just to switch here and that's the light bar on the other side there's quite a few lights on but it's okay we'll turn those off okay i think that covers the highlights we're going to put in the, in the notes for this video a, a very long detailed list of the of uh what this van yeah and if you have any questions you'll have our contact information below and uh but just the base van itself has every conceivable driver convenience package so the cab of the van starting in 2019 they remote they changed it and it has all the safety features and adaptive cruise control and lane avoidance and rollover protection and Starlink. oh yeah didn't even mention the solar panels there are six 100 watt solar panels on top of the van low profile. they're very low profile i'll get up on this hill a little bit and that's the way you can, uh, we didn't want any wind resistance or minimize our wind resistance. So the last thing we wanted was a giant rack pulling our wind resistance down. And we mounted the Star Starlink on top so we don't have to deal with that outside of the van. It's been a game changer on the road. The, the, yeah, the Starlink's mounted at the back behind the, uh, the solar panels next to the fan there. But anyway, it's, it's a fantastic van. It's been tested over 50,000 miles, all systems work flawlessly. That's what you want in a rig that can take you out into the... All maintenance has been done at the Mercedes dealer. It just had its uh, 50,000 mile maintenance. So we'll need maintenance again for another 15,000 miles. Uh, the turbo diesel is a fantastic engine. 
tried and true solid 17 miles per gallon day in and day out and uh, all the power you could ever imagine there you can see the starlink i think a little bit from here and with that fuel tank we were able to almost go the entire baja without even looking for fuel yeah w w the range in this was been increased from about 300 miles to 600 miles and so a trip like driving the full length of the baja we could drive the whole thing and only have to fill up one time after we get down into baja one time 600 800 miles gives us two tank fulls we can go almost over a thousand miles so anyway it's a great rig for somebody looking to go rough it real easy and uh likes great sound system likes to be very comfortable Super quiet inside. climate controlled and a very quiet ride so reach out and let us know if you're interested all our information will be in the comment section below thanks bye-bye